hello leo and welcome back to my channel lumen moon tarot so leo i'm checking into your december energy okay what spirit wants you to know um just kind of a sneak peek right for what's coming up for you um so yeah this reading is for the collective though it's not going to resonate with all of you so just take what resonates leave the rest behind right and thank you leo so much for all of your support um, thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody new here, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Leo. I love you guys. All right, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. You know, here's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that somebody keeps going back and forth, you know, dropping, like, you know, with the Ten of Wands here, they're pretty much at the end of their rope. Um, they can either choose to continue to carry these burdens or they can drop some, right? They, if they drop two burdens, you've got this communication coming in. Um, this person keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, should I communicate? No, I want to communicate. I want to talk. No, 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 I can't do it today, right? And then they kind of close up. Um, I feel like this back and forth energy from this person... <laughs> Um, and I'm getting the sense that it's a process. It's a process of their ego um, being put out, right? Um, it's a process of this person gaining their strength. Um, they feel, oh boy, here's the thing. I'm getting the sense that this person feels like they're not adequate or maybe they just feel like they're not ready, okay? Um, maybe they feel unworthy of you. I don't know. I feel like this person wants to communicate, but they're giving a lot of strategic thought in what they need to say and how they're going to say it and how they're going to come across. Okay. It's almost giving me like, um, maybe them rehearsing something in the mirror and they keep saying to themselves, Oh, this sounds stupid. I can't, I know I need to communicate, but I'm not ready. You know, I don't have my script ready yet. That kind of thing. Yeah, but then they're like, nope, I just need to go in there and do it. This is them hemming and hawing back and forth in their own head. Um, this is all internally. Like, they're not, I don't think they're telling anybody, look, and they're going to miss their chance here. <laughs> this wants to come out in reverse because you're moving on. Yeah, um, I feel like it, it's, it's a lot of inner conflict a lot of turmoil that this person's going through. One minute they want to come forward, they don't think that they've got a good enough approach, or um, they think that you, they fear your rejection for sure. They don't think you're going to give them another chance or that it doesn't sound good, but then they're like, I just need to do it. Here's the thing. They're going back and forth in their mind, wrestling with themselves, basically, is what this is. This person's wrestling with themselves ever since that full moon energy. Okay, do you see the full moon in the background? All right, um, and that just came and passed, right? But um, in that full moon energy, people are starting to realize what's for them, what isn't. Making a final cut. Um, ending cycles, closing out cycles, right? Starting new ones. Um, maybe even thinking about things that they've done or things that they've been through in the past. That's, it's, and it will make you very tired. People can be very uh, easily irritable, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like that's the energy that this person was going through. Now they know they want to make a change. They want to come towards you. But look at, they, they kind of hold you on a pedestal, especially since they're this nervous about their own communication. And this is somebody who is, they're normally very sure of themselves. Like this is completely throwing off their balance. They're normally very sure of themselves. This is big boss energy, right? Um... They normally have like a pretty tough ego. Um, they're, they may be very arrogant. They, they could be very cold and harsh with their communication as well. But um, yeah, they're not used to feeling this way. They're not used to wrestling with their own conscience and wrestling with whether or not that, you know, how, oh my gosh, how am I going to communicate? Like coming towards you, 
um, it's completely making this person like have a kind of a low self-esteem. They're second guessing their, themselves. Um, they're low on confidence. They have to kind of, they have to rehearse their words. Um, this isn't somebody who's used to doing that. Yeah, look, off balance, You're, this person feels like a fool, you know, they're like, oh, why can't I do this? I can communicate with everyone so easily, but I can't do it with the collective because it's that dang important, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like, Leo. All right, so high priestess energy. Yeah, not only that, but you're, it, it's like this person knows you're going to see right through them. You know, you're good, the, will the nervousness that they feel come across as them being a liar? You know, will the awkwardness that they're going to show and the way they're going to sweat through this communication, is it going to make it seem like they're hiding something, right? This person's getting paranoid, I feel, about themselves. Um, it's making them feel kind of immature about themselves. Like I say, it's, it's kind of crushing their ego, okay? And you're out here, I, I feel this peaceful energy. You're not saying anything. You're not speaking. Um, you're, you're, you've got, you're handling this with grace. You've got this beautiful, calm energy, very intuitive, just working, you know, transforming your life, maybe picking out a new dress, maybe getting your hair done, you know, um, listening to the messages you get from the divine, right? You're spending a lot of time at work, but you're the person who's got it all, for real. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten, okay, Leo? Um, you've grown something um, into a big success, you're about to be very abundant if you aren't there already, okay? You've completely reinvented yourself, transformed your life. You've got everything you need here. You're happy being single. The only thing you don't have in this picture is a soulmate at your side who's going to be there for you, dedicated to you, loyal to you, okay? And this person is over here feeling really immature. They're, they're feeling silly about themselves. Like, why can't they just come forward? They've never had a problem talking to anybody before but you. You know, and they're looking at you like you're the person who's got everything. You don't need them anymore. And you don't. You're, you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. You're happy being single. Okay? Um, and you're ready for love, but, you know, you're good all on your own. Right? Right? So this person is like, what do I have to offer? I'm acting immature. I feel immature. Um, I'm questioning myself. I have no self-esteem. You know, um, they're feeling pretty inadequate. And yeah, and, they, and for all of these reasons, they hold you high on a pedestal, okay? I feel like this is a closing of a cycle for you with the world card. You're very balanced, very stable, very confident. Um, I feel like you're moving on, right? There could be a huge distance between you as well. The Fool card could be travel. The World card could be travel. So this person may need to travel to get to you, maybe even across a body of water. So you could, be, you could even live in a whole other continent, okay? Um, you could be doing something online that's become very um, successful. You could have made this a business, so you could be financially independent right now. And I feel like, um, yeah, you could. You have the freedom, I feel, to move wherever you want as long as there's internet, okay? Especially if this is a business that you do on the internet. So you could live a distance from this person or be moving a distance from this person, okay? Um, you're in the chariot, so you're in your empress and emperor energy, That uh, both of it, uh, your masculine and feminine energy. You're very coming out here very strong, very confident, feeling good, and moving forward, okay? Um, you're determined to just keep pushing forward. 
And this person is seeing your strength. They're seeing you in your power right now, Leo. <laughs> and um, they're feeling like they're feeling very immature compared to you. Okay. This is kind of confusing your person. This is what's making them wrestle with themselves. Um, yeah, what is this? Yeah, you're not dealing with any players either. If this person played you in the past, if they came in quickly, used you, and then left quickly, right? You're not having anything to do with them. I feel like you're just done. You've, you've healed. You've learned your lessons here um, from this last cycle. You've put in that effort into yourself. And um, you possibly don't feel the same way that you did about this person. And if they come in in any kind of in and out energy, like this person knows they they know that you're ready for a commitment. Like I said, you've got one pentacle missing in this picture. If you've got 10 pentacles, you're in something solid, something that's built to last, um, a commitment, something loyal and dedicated. And that's what you're ready for. Okay? If they can't offer you that, you're going to see this person as having in and out energy. And it'll be over death card so not only do they have to come in communicating with you properly the doing the best job that they can um but if they can't offer you a commitment and be loyal to you you're gonna say no you know you are you're not gonna settle for less than something loyal and dedicated to you i feel like because this person underestimated you because they put you out in the cold, you know, the way that they misjudged you here, um, it's going to make it really hard for this person to come back in. They gave you plenty of reasons not to trust them. And being that you're ready for um, a good, solid, strong commitment and dedicated connection, there's got to be trust there. If you don't have trust or respect, you don't have anything. That's not a relationship. So, and you know, you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve. This person really just, they don't feel like, they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. They're low on their confidence. They've already um, underestimated you, put you out in the cold, gave you possibly a harsh cutoff, misjudged you. Um, you know, they did all of this, right? They played you in and out energy. I mean, when did they ever give you a chance to trust them? You know, when did they ever show you that um, they're trustworthy? I, I feel like this person knows how badly they screwed up. And coming back in is um, probably the hardest thing they'll ever do in their life is try to talk to you again and get you back. See, they're already feeling defeated. Everything they did to you, every a nasty way they treated you, Leo, it's all coming back on them. It is. You know, I feel like when they betrayed you, they actually betrayed themselves. They could have said some really nasty things to you in the past when they broke it off with you. How are they going to come back from that? That's kind of the feeling I'm getting off of this card. Each one of these swords is something nasty they could have said to you. How are they going to come back from that? You know? They could have breadcrumbed you as well I just dropped a whole pile of cards on the floor hold on I need to pick these up sorry about that Leo I had to like climb under my chair to get it um okay so yeah the sun card right um I'm I'm not gonna take the rest it was just my bad I hit my thumb or something but yeah, sun card, this person, um, I, they look, they see everything clearly now. They're also seeing you as their happiness, okay? And this is why they're so distraught. But here's the thing, this, it's kind of like they made their bed, now they have to lie in it. They did all this stuff to you, now they have to deal with the consequences. 
and the consequences are in the end they just made it nearly impossible for this person to ever get you back you know i feel like they're having sleepless nights they're having a lot of anxiety um yeah this person can't sleep they're worried because you're about to get snatched up by somebody new they can feel it you know you're ready for love here with the nine of pentacles you're you're attracting people to you like a magnet new options new opportunities um with the empress okay the queen of wands energy you're the sexiest queen in the deck you're you're beautiful attractive the empress you're abundant you're independent who wouldn't want that this person knows that you're yeah you're about to get new love i was just gonna say that um you're in your star energy right now leo like I said, attracting a lot of attention to yourself. A lot of people are noticing you, um, possibly even wanting to date you. You're about to get new love, and they know it. This is what scares them. Okay. It scares this person. Yeah, you're about to get a new soulmate connection, courtesy of the divine. Spirit's like, you know what? I'm just going to bring in somebody new for you, okay? Something that is going to stand the test of time. Four of Wands. Um, something that is going to bring you wish fulfillment. I feel like it's going to be somebody who's going to be dedicated to you. So you're about to get your Ten of Pentacles. You're about to get that Tenth Pentacle. And the Ten of Cups. Ultimate wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. This is happy, happy wife, happy life. Right? Um, a happy home life. Um, and yeah, you're definitely about to get new love here. Love and wish fulfillment. I feel like spirits leading you, um, Leo, to just make a decision when it comes to this person. I feel like you already could have them blocked. I feel like your mind is, is kind of being made up here, but it's also because you're being led. You're being led to, um, cut this connection out, I feel and the divine is ushering someone new in, all of these new opportunities as well. You know, spirits like, come on, um, this person, you know, they're acting a fool, okay? <laughs> they're allowing fears to hold them back. And I feel like you being led out of this energy is lighting a fire for your person. I feel like this is triggering them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's triggering this person to want to communicate. It's making everything clear that they're about to lose the person that they want. The one that they see is for them. Yeah, the one that they see is for them. Lover's card. Thank you, Divine. Yes. That's a huge confirmation, you guys. And they're never going to be able to get over you either, you know. Um, that flame's always going to be burning for you. They don't want to let you go. They can feel you elevating and moving forward with your life. And they're hanging on to you for dear life because they don't want you out of their life. So um, is this person going to take some action? What action? Right now, all they can do is think about this. They're having fond memories. They want to get back together. Okay. They're still wrestling with themselves now. Keep that in mind. This person's really... Because that ego is dying. You see what I'm saying? That ego is getting tossed out the window. But that's a process. Um, yeah, they're under judgment. Stop dreaming, right? Stop dreaming, dreaming, boss up, and take some action. Or this could be the divine. Yeah, see, pretty soon this person's going to have some competition. Once they find out that you've got someone new coming in, and I feel like it's an emperor, um, because spirit is sending you somebody new. Okay, this person just, they daydream about you all day. They, uh, all they're doing is trying to figure out what to say, like they're writing a script. 
you know, spirits like, that's it. We're not going to make you wait anymore. You deserve happiness and your wishes fulfilled. So we're bringing you in an emperor who's going to love you the right way. This person's going to have some competition. They're going to really have to fight for you now. Okay, and I don't know how they're going to fight with an emperor. I feel like they're being told, though, they need to boss up and do something about this. But, um, yeah, I, you know what? If they don't come forward, spirit's going to give them some kind of tower moment or some kind of tower. Okay, I feel like this is karma coming for this person because they were supposed to do the right thing. If they find out you're seeing someone new, this person's going to lose it. Okay, they are. They're going to lose their mind. Yeah, they were being shown a different path. This person, spirit, tried to lead them straight back to an earth angel. But um, they just kind of stood there. Yeah, they were trying to possibly buy some time by taking their time, coming in too slow. Maybe trying to control the outcome of this. Feel like maybe they were watching you, gossiping about you, maybe talking to other people about you. Yeah. And taking way too long to figure out what they're going to say. You know, so yeah, you're being sent in. Yeah, somebody new on the bottom of the deck. So you're, you're about to meet an emperor. Okay, this is new energy coming in. And I feel like somebody's about to ask you on a date, okay? So you're about to start dating, Leo. Your your uh, new things are coming into your life now. Uh, spirit is guiding you to move forward because this person's taking way too long um, to do the right thing to, for an earth angel, okay? So anyway, Leo, listen, that's what I've got for December, um, I do hope this helps and resonates. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Leo, take care of you and peace out.